Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The federal budget proposed by President Donald Trump last week caused quite a stir, due in part to his recommendation of the elimination of more than three dozen programs, many of which service the Appalachian region, in particular in eastern Kentucky. One of the programs that the president proposed for elimination was the Legal Services Corporation, which funds, among other things, the Appalachian Research and Defense Fund, an agency which Executive Director Robert John says has provided legal services to low-income and vulnerable people around eastern Kentucky for 47 years. The focus at Apple Red is on um, people, the, the basic necessities of life, trying to make sure people have, have food, have housing, have health care, have the things they need to be able to, to survive and, 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 and have a, a, a decent way of life. At the heart of Apple Red is a mission to make the legal system accessible to all Americans. We want to make sure that um, just because you're low income or otherwise can't afford uh, an attorney that, that you still have um, access to, to justice for all, access to, to the court system. What is most disheartening, John says, is that the agency doesn't have enough money to service the need in the region as it is. We and every other legal aid throughout the country is, is underfunded. We don't have enough lawyers to meet the overwhelming need. And in our area, which obviously suffers from you know extreme, extreme poverty, uh, we have more people asking for help than we, we can provide assistance to. So the possibility or the idea of eliminating, you know, completely our Legal Services Corporation grant um, is, is, is scary. Officials with Apple Red hope to see their funding restored. However, they are prepared to make do if cuts are necessary. What that might mean for those who depend on their services, though, only time will tell. Reporting from Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.